And I happen to like this combination. It is careful codependence that seems to wrap up in a mutual uh, paranoia. But anyway, whatever. Well, right here, we've got the Frenchie Company, something brand new. This is the Speed Wallet, the Aroma Collection. So let's see how we open it. Uh, they all come in this uh, interesting packaging. This is a different color than we're used to. Usually it's black, comes with a slip, and it opens up in this kind of revealing way. I kind of really like it. As you open it up, then this just pops up and you get a whole feel for you know, what you've got here. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, it is unique packaging for sure, and this is what we have. Let's take this out. There are magnets involved in this. I know a lot of you go, oh, boo, but um, there have never really been a problem here. So we will take a look really closely at the stitching. Let's just take a quick look. It's machine stitched. Oops, we just saw what really makes this one unique. And so I'd say we get a look at this a little bit more closer. This is the apple color. Apple blossom to be particular. All the other colors are very feminine, but I like the concept. We also have a gold embossed logo mark on the front. We can see that right here. Quite like that. And it's really something I've not seen in their offering before. Now the other color offerings are orange blossom, peony pink, rose, and vanilla, which kind of looks like teal to me. But then again, I'm a little colorblind to reds and greens. Anyway, let's get into the feature review. So in the feature review, we have the star of the show. And it's not here, it's right here, this. This is an external pocket. We like this external pocket. It's called the Essentials because, well, I don't know. You can put Essentials in there, whatever you want to call it. They give an example of a little coin, which is great. And the wallet is a wrap. It is actually a trifold. So we have a little pocket here. We open it up once, twice, and we have an internal cash wrap. The cash wrap goes right here, cash, and then it folds up like this. Uh, by way of cards, we have two particular card slots, uh, one here, one here. They have some example cards in here that we can take a look at. Let's pull this one out. We'll pull this other one out. And as you'll see, we obviously have pole straps. These pole straps, uh, they bunch down here at the bottom. So if you put a card in, and we'll do this from the bottom, you can see, let's get this going in right here. As it pushes up, you see that we get the pole strap that consolidates and pulls into the top. And on the bottom, that is the back stop right here are the straps that we've got. Capacity of six cards per slot and the pull strap for retrieval. Let's uh, put one of our cards in this one so that we can get that strap back into place. Let's see how we can do that right here. There we go. Push that in, not too far. Man, maybe I just need to do this a little different. Oh, there we go. I was missing the slot right there. And it closes up like this, this. It does have a magnet right here that keeps everything closed. From a measurement perspective, this measures 3.4 by 2.6 by 0.6, and it weighs 70 grams, or 2.5 ounces. Really not that bad. Now the exterior essentials pocket is something I find a valuable addition to the Speed Wallet Mini itself. I just wish the color palette was a little bit more, oh, I don't know, expanded for masculine customers. I, this was kind of about the best I got with this Apple Blossom. Now onto the card and cash insertion test. So I got eight cards in there. I put in the essential slot a key and eight cards and five slips of cash. I think I said cards already. But anyway, you can see how it wraps right here. And, and I really do like this. And the point is, is that you don't have to completely unwrap it to get cash. You can actually find the note you want, pull it out. It doesn't disrupt the other cash that's there. And I like the magnet. It does keep it closed. And no, we've not heard of any, uh, any uh, oh, demagnetization of cards that have gone on from the use of Frenchie wallets. Now we have the two slots uh, that are here and I put four cards in each of those. We wanna get access to those, you just pull that up. You have your cards and I guess you could you know, point them either way. Uh, you can uh, just fan them out here, pull the cards you want, push back in and away you go. It, it is rather handy. I like the size of this, it is pretty small, but it did measure uh, almost an inch, but that was a lot of stuff in here. Depends on what you carry. Now this is made in Colombia. It's made from a full grain, veg tanned Italian leather. And you know, there's always a smell. 
It actually smells pretty good. I, I quite like this. The magnetic closure I, I mentioned is, is a great touch. It does not require thoughtfulness on your part of where you put the cards due to possible demagneti demagnetization. Uh, that can really just it really doesn't matter because you can put them anywhere in there. Now I have heard this wallet has possible RFID available in the card slots. Right now it doesn't. And there's an insert in the back of the leather that provides rigidity. So if we if we take this apart, you can see that this does not have this has a, a lot of give, but not up front. That's where we have the magnet. Let's let's take this out and let's take the cards just so we can make this a full look here. There is some rigidity that we have right here and also in the back. And you can see that it has this leather that presses around the area. So there is rigidity here and rigidity on this outside because this is the metal that the magnet actually attaches to. And so that's how you know where we're at. And there's also a five year warranty on this particular wall. I'll keep these little flappies out here right now. Uh, as of this recording, it is priced for $119. Now most of Frenchie's wallets have gone up uh, over about $20 or so uh, per unit since the time I started reviewing them about five years ago. But this one kind of sets a new bar, one that's a bit eye-watering. Yeah, but without the pocket, meaning this right here, uh, the Aroma Collection starts, oh yeah, I've got the key in here, starts at $99. So it's based off of the new colors, it's the Aroma Collection, new collection, and that's what brings it to $119. So how do we actually use said wallet? Now the lack of sewing right here in the bottom is really what allows cards to expand in here and gives the utilization. So let's get a card and we can kind of see how that functions here. So let's pull this back, put a card in here, and you can see it pulls it in. Now, the issue, all shoe, the all shoe here, is if we put this in, that in order to have this capability, you end up with the floppiness of these, uh, these pull heads. And that's just how this wallet is designed. It really is what it is. It's not very aesthetically appealing, but it makes the wallet work well. Now, I do like how the pull heads have different colors. And these different colors, I am a little colorblind, is that pink? Anyway, it allows you to know which side you have your cards in. I really like that. The magnetic closure keeps the wallet nice and neat, as I mentioned earlier. And I've not heard one of one instance where the strength of the magnets have really damaged the cards. I know, I know. Magnets, credit cards, yeah, they don't mix. I get it. Some mix well, others not so much. And I happen to like this combination. It is careful. Uh, codependence that seems to wrap up in a mutual uh, paranoia. But anyway, whatever. It works. So have we seen, as we've seen, nice out of the pocket. It makes carrying anything small other than cards and cash possible now. So two thumbs up for me on this one. And now onto the final score. For quality of four, really good quality. I, I really like these wallets. A price of two, bordering on a one, very expensive. Features of five. Uh, with this little pocket that we have, right here. It actually is awesome and makes this an even more usable wallet. Usability of four, very easy to use, and perception of five. Uh, I like what they offer. And that gives us a final score of 3.9 out of five. Now, if you like what you saw here, then look at this video next, and we'll see you in the next review. I'd better see you in the next review. Bye.